you might have noticed we're at the beach. I'm in Altea right now, which is at the Costa Blanca where I'm currently preparing my next mountain bike camp. And I'm a graduate mental trainer and a psychological counselor, which qualifies me to talk about fear and also gives me lots of hands-on tools how I can help riders and people generally struggling with fears in their life. And today I'd like to share the secret about trail fears, and that is that most fears are self-made, especially when it comes to mountain biking. What I mean by that is that the reason I see most people develop fears and actually make these fears worse and worse and worse and worse with time is that people allow their ego to decide which trails to ride and not their skill level. What I mean by that is they ride things because they think they are cool, because they think they need to, because they think it's normal that after a short period of time you should be able to ride, let's say, a black trail. However, this is an ego-based decision because you're not focusing on, okay, this is my current skill level, this is where I feel safe, this is the trail I'm going to ride, but you're deciding on this is what I want to ride, or this is what will look cool on social media, or this is what my boyfriend rides, so I'm going to ride it. The problem about this is that, obviously, you are riding beyond your skill level. Of course you're gonna crash, of course you're gonna hurt yourself, and of course you're gonna build up fears, because fear is a very natural and super healthy response to an actual danger. So if there is danger because your body feels that you're not in control of your mountain bike, of course you're gonna be fearful. And that is what I have, I'm not kidding, 90% of the time when I'm working with clients on trail fears is that they come to me and say, I'm really scared of drops, for example, or I'm scared of jumps, I'm scared of going over the handlebars when I jump, or I'm scared when it gets too steep and loose. And then, every time, I never work with my clients only on fears, I always also work on their skills. Then we go out, I look at the skills, so the prerequisites for the things they tell me, and 90% of the time I notice they are nowhere near to having control over their mountain bike in the terrain that they are scared of. So of course, their body is going to say, oh no, 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 wait, I don't know what the outcome is going to be, so I'm scared. Your brain always has one main function that is like the function over everything else, which our brain does, like amazing stuff our brain does, but that is function number one, and that is to keep you safe. And if there is a chance that you're not safe, it's gonna give you fear. If you're in the fear response, your body's going to tense, you can all only, and that's the important thing, and that's also the reason why most people stagnate, why they hit a plateau, you can only apply what you already know. You cannot learn new movements if you're in the fear response because you're in a performance zone. And to learn, you need to be in a learning zone. A learning zone is a zone where there are no consequences if anything happens and your brain feels completely safe. So as soon as you're in the fear response, you're not learning. I know a lot of people say, you're not learning if when you're not crashing. No, you are just consolidating your errors. You're not learning new movements. And that's something that I wanna tell you today. If you really want to progress your skills, and I mean not just a little bit, like seriously improve and take your skills to the next level, you need to do two things. The first one is, every time you ride into a trail and you don't feel safe, you're like, oh, I don't know, don't ride it. Don't let your ego decide what you wanna ride. Let your actual, your real, your current skill level decide what you're going to ride. And number two is, Start structured practice in a learning environment, in the learning zone, which means one, develop a plan what you want to learn. Ideally, take a coach or someone who really knows what they're teaching you to have a structure to, to follow. Start practicing 
in a structured and persistent fashion in a learning zone. So where there is no fear and where there is no, oh my God, am I going to be able to do this? As soon as you think that, you're not in the learning zone. Follow these two tips. You are going to take your skills to the next level in no time. If you'd like help with that, then you will find my links below in the pinned comment and also in the video description. I really hope this video helped you. I really hope that maybe we can take it a notch back, back to owning the skills, the foundation of everything, the foundation of fun by working on solid fundamentals. The word fun is in the world fundamentals. So you need a solid fundament, solid fundamentals to have fun. And let's start taking that seriously. Let's not start to go out there and think we need to do crazy stuff to impress anyone. Mountain biking is about having fun. So why not have fun with fundamentals? And if you liked this video, then you're probably going to like this video and my Patreon channel. And do subscribe to my channel and click the bell right here. See you again for my next episode. Sending you much, much love from Altea, which is at the Costa Blanca. And if you have questions, always jot them below.